Many years ago, my wife consulted a psychic who told her that she would have twins when she was older. Ten years later, my wife and I found out that we were actually expecting twins. Some of you may have had similar experiences with psychics. So that poses a question, are psychics real or are these merely coincidences? There are many other experiences like this in life. For instance, maybe you are thinking of a person and they happen to call you at that moment. You go on a vacation to a foreign country and run into someone you know, and so on. Once I was at a party and someone suggested that I buy some Google stock. Years later, that stock significantly increased. How can these things be explained? Can anyone accurately predict stock values? These examples may seem very different, but they are all related. To explain this, let's return to our simple coin toss experiment. We first discussed this experiment when talking about the concept of relative frequency. If you remember, when tossing a coin many times, the number of heads will approach 50% as you do more tosses. We also discussed patterns that can show up in experiments like these. Now that we have learned a bit about probability, we can analyze this situation more closely. Remember that coin tosses are independent, so it does not matter what the previous result was. If I ask you what the probability of observing one heads and then one tails is, you would say that, since they are independent, you multiply the probability of heads by the probability of tails, which is 0.5 times 0.5 or 0.25. Or, if I wanted to know the probability of getting a heads and two tails in a row, it would be 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 or 1 over 8. Here, the order matters, but suppose I ask you what the probability of observing two heads and one tails in any order is. This would include heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, and tails, heads, heads. In this case, I would add these three probabilities because these are three disjoint events. So it would be 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, which of course equals 3 over 8. Although very simple, this coin toss experiment is very important in understanding the equations I posed at the beginning of this video. Now, assume that I have an imaginary coin where the probability of heads is not 50%, but rather only 25%, which means that the probability of tails is 75%. This means that in a long sequence of coin tosses, I would observe heads about one-fourth of the time. So in general, if the probability of heads is just 1 over n, then I observe on average 1 heads in n coin tosses. If the probability of heads were 1 over 100, then on average I would only observe 1 heads in a sequence of 100 tosses. So what am I getting at here? These are examples of rare events, and in probability theory, experiments like the one just mentioned are called Bernoulli trials. Basically, Bernoulli trials are independent repetitions of experiments that have two possible outcomes, success and failure, or in this case, heads and tails. Even if the probability of a success is 1 over 1000, if I repeat the experiment a large number of times, I will get a success eventually. This means that rare events happen given enough opportunity. If you repeat an experiment enough times, then you will eventually achieve the outcome you were hoping for. Now, we can go back and apply this reasoning to the real-life scenarios I discussed at the very beginning of this video. In many of these situations, we are amazed at what we call coincidences, but we fail to realize how many opportunities there were for that event to occur. Think of all the times that event did not happen. You were thinking of someone and they didn't call, for example. We normally forget about those situations and only remember the time the coincidence happens. Think of all the places you go and all the people you know. Any time you go somewhere, there is a chance that you run into someone you know. There is a lot of opportunities for that event to happen. We mostly forget the times that we didn't run into someone, but tend to remember the times that we did. According to our discussion about Bernoulli trials, it is bound to happen eventually. In general, if you really want something to happen, you can either increase the number of trials or increase the probability of success. That way, if you repeat the experiment independently enough times, you will eventually get the outcome you desire. In the next videos, we'll discuss this issue further and specifically discuss the psychic example as well as stock predictions. We will discuss how to relate all of this information to more practical real-life scenarios later on. Thank you for watching.